In Setup, you make sets in all directions to score as many points as possible. Here is a run-through of the rules so you can get started on the game quickly. The aim of Setup is to make sets with the card tiles on the game board. You can get even more points by matching with tiles already on the board. The more card tiles in the sets you make, the more points you get, and the more spaces you can move on the game board. The winner is the first player to reach the finish line. Each player takes a tile holder and a playing piece in the same color as the two personal bonus squares in front of them on the board. Place the playing pieces on the setup square. Put the 50 card tiles into the bag and place the bag next to the board. Take four card tiles from the bag and place them on the four common squares in the middle of the board. Each player then takes four card tiles from the bag and places them in their own tile holder. Make sure to keep them hidden from the other players. These four card tiles are your own hand. Then take four more card tiles from the bag and place them next to the board with the numbers facing up so that everyone can see them. These four card tiles are the common hand. There are five different suits, stars, hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades. And there are 50 card tiles with the numbers 1 to 10 in each suit. A set consists of at least two card tiles. There are two types of sets, same numbers but different suits, and consecutive numbers in the same suit. You play setup in turns. Let's jump in mid-game to see how that works. When it's your turn and you make a set, you do so by placing one or more card tiles from your own hand, from the common hand, or from both. You may place your card tiles on your two personal bonus squares, and you may place them on the four common squares in the middle of the board. Card tiles may be placed on top of other card tiles on the game board. If there are fewer than four players, you use the extra personal bonus squares as common squares. After making one or more sets, the player moves the playing piece the same number of spaces on the board as the number of points they have scored. If other players have scored bonus points, those players can also move their playing pieces. Then the player must replace the card tiles they just used by taking new card tiles from the bag, filling up the common hand first, then their own hand. The turn continues in clockwise order. If a player cannot or does not want to make a set, the player must swap some or all card tiles from their own hand for the same number of tiles from the bag. If the bag is empty, all the card tiles on the board, apart from the top layer of tiles, must be removed from the board and placed back in the bag. Once a playing piece has reached or crossed the finish line, the game is over. The players don't need to take the same number of turns. More than one playing piece can reach or cross the finish line in the same turn because the other players can get bonus points. The winner is then the player whose playing piece is ahead of the others. If there is more than one player at the exact same distance past the finish line, the winner is the player who was the last person to place tiles on the board. Use the finish line corresponding to the number of players. Let's take a closer look at making sets. The card tiles you place must be part of the same set and only the visible tiles on the board, meaning those in the top layer, can be part of a set. In this example, the red player plays a 3 and a 5 of clubs and makes a set of 3, 4, 5, and 6 of clubs. A set can be made in any direction indicated by the white lines on the board. A set can change direction and cross its own path. For example, here the purple player plays a 7 of clubs and makes a set of 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 of clubs. Card tiles you place can also become part of multiple sets. Simply by placing a 3 and a 5 of stars, the yellow player makes three sets with tiles already on the board. 3, 4, and 5 of stars make one set, 5 of spades, 5 of stars, and 5 of clubs make another, and 3 of stars and 3 of hearts make a third set. Let's see how points are awarded by looking at the yellow player's three sets. Each tile is worth one point, and a tile is only counted once regardless of the number of sets it's part of. This means that the yellow player scores six points. A player can also score bonus points on another player's turn. That happens if the player whose turn it is has made a set with one or both card tiles on the other player's personal bonus squares. 
So when the yellow player made sets with the card tiles on the green player's personal squares, the green player receives two bonus points and can move their playing piece ahead two spaces. Each player must keep an eye on their own personal bonus squares and check whether the card tiles on their bonus squares are part of the sets just made by the player whose turn it is. If the player does not notice this before the next player takes their turn, the player will not receive any bonus points. You may make a player aware of their bonus points, but you don't have to. Now you're ready to play! The youngest player starts. If there are four of you playing, you can also play setup in teams of two. The objective in this version is to avoid being the team with the playing piece in last place when the first playing piece reaches or crosses the four-player finish line. The same rules apply but with the following differences. There are two teams with two players on each team. Each player has their own card tiles, tile holder, and playing piece, so each team has two playing pieces, one per player. Team players sit next to each other so that they can see each other's card tiles and discuss. A team player is still only allowed to use the card tiles from their own hand and the common hand. Each team player takes it in turns to play, with the players taking turns in a figure of eight. When a player scores points, they move their own playing piece that same number of spaces. It's still possible for players other than the player whose turn it is to score bonus points if the card tiles on their personal bonus squares are part of the set or sets played. This means that the player whose turn it is can give both their teammate and their opponent's bonus points. Once a playing piece has reached or crossed the finish line, the game is over, and the team who does not have the playing piece in last place wins the game. If there's more than one playing piece in last place, the winning team is the team whose playing piece is in first place. If there's more than one playing piece in last place and more than one playing piece in first place, the winning team is the team who placed the last tiles on the board. And that's all there is to set up. Now have fun!